Hi, everybody. We'll get started in just a minute. If you have any questions to start out with, feel free to submit them right away if you like. Hello, and thank you for joining us for the Black Hills AI webinar, Auto Users Workshop. A recording of this episode and the slides will be made available on the Black Hills AI YouTube channel, as well as the Black Hills AI website. Feel free to enter any questions using the Q&A feature in the Zoom menu. We invite you to follow us on LinkedIn and to visit the Black Hills AI website to learn about our other webinars. And with that, I will turn things over to Jim. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining today. Uh, we have some new things to show you that we've implemented since last time. We'll try and keep it to a half an hour again, but we can certainly go longer. If at any time you have any questions, whether they're your questions or questions from somebody else in your firm, feel free to submit them. Um, and as always, you can uh, um, reach out separately from this if you like. Um, if you're having, if you need some assistance setting up skills or uh, whether they be task-based or um, playbook-based, um, we can certainly help you with that. So happy to get started today. So what I have here is I'm going to go ahead and reset this. Um, let me just take a peek at what I had going on here. Okay. Um, I'm just going to reset this one. And we'll just do it live. So what I've done... Uh, now, since uh, last Friday, the new version of uh, our AI tool that was uploaded, you're now capped at um, 25,000 pages, I'm sorry, 10,000 pages of documents uh, that you can upload. Um, you are limited to a total of 25 uh, total documents, but they can, the sum total of them can be uh, 10,000 pages. So what I've done here is I just did a search for um, uh, fuel injector patents, um, and I put a few other terms in there, and there are, these are patents that are, were filed by Ford uh, 20 years ago today. Just by chance, it ended up being 20 years ago today, I think, or at least that was the earliest priority date on, on many of them. Um, well, I guess there's a little bit of... Uh, earlier priority date on this one. But anyway, that's all pretty close. So this would be like looking at a patent family to see what's going on with it and uh, uh, seeing what uh, um, you want to do. And if these were just related in uh, subject matter and not by owner, uh, this might be useful for doing invalidity type work um, and so on. But these patents are all related to fuel injectors. But you get a, a body of patents and you might need to figure out how to um, work with this body of patents. This might be a search result set that comes back from a, uh, a search provider. And you might think, oh, these are all relevant, but um, I'm not sure how yet. Maybe you have some good notes from your search provider. Maybe you don't, but um, maybe you want to take the word for, for what they say. Maybe you don't. So you can start refining this result set a little bit further. And so what I'll do here is I'll ask the AI tool to um, generate a classification system, which may be sufficient, may not be. We'll see. We'll see what it see what happens here. Um, the goal is to let the uh, AI tool do as much of this uh, higher level um, uh, work that it can do quickly and probably more thoroughly than um, uh, a person can do. And then you can review the results, see if you like it, if you need a little bit different and so on, rather than having to give the task back to the associate who performed it for you, you can just ask the AI tool to do it again you know, pretty quickly. So we'll take a look at this and see what's going on. Um, okay. So this created a... Uh, Okay, um, so let's ask it to refine it. Let's get, let's see if we can get this a little bit better. Let's say, uh, please refine this classification system to find, to be a finer grained, to be finer grained and classify each patent based on the respective claims. Also be sure to focus on the details of, um, fuel 
injectors. So here we go. Yep, okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is doing that. Okay, so how does that look? Yep, okay. So it's just telling us how each one fits into this larger classification system. So let's see if it'll generate a chart to uh, represent that. I haven't now this one I haven't done. Um, chart, so we'll see how it comes out in the chart. Identify. Um, Go pretty quickly here. So when working through, you know, um, large bodies of patents, um, anything that you can use to uh, help you focus. All right, so this should convert to a chart at some point here. Hmm. Okay. We might have to resubmit this one. But, uh... Anything that you can do to help you work through these large uh, volumes of patents, it uh, um, can really save you a lot of time, uh, allow you to focus on uh, your attention where you where it's really needed, rather than spending a lot of time just trying to get background uh, to figure out you know what goes in what bucket. So, okay, that did not. It generated the data, but it didn't put it in the chart right. Um, please. Okay, but the data is in chart. Typically creates pretty good charts that you can just copy and paste directly into uh, Excel or whatnot, or you can download them as a file. Let's see. I'm sorry. I need to refine my uh, my prompt. Sorry about that. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Yeah, so that's going. If anybody has any questions, feel free to submit them. I don't see any yet. Um, whether the, your question is with regard to what I'm talking about or if there's any other challenges that you're having with the tool, happy to uh, answer those and work through them with you. Um, the goal with these these weekly or bi-weekly webinars is to have uh, an opportunity for you to submit your questions and whatnot um, so we can answer them live. And then we can also, you know, we can all benefit from what, you uh, um, you know, the community is working on. But yeah, so here's here's a chart that says, uh, that shows you what's going on with uh, each patent in the of your classification system that you generated. Let me see if I can just pull up a spreadsheet real quick. So here I'm gonna, let's see, where's my, here I'm gonna, 
Let's see, new share. Okay, I'm gonna change over here. I'm going to copy it. And I was able to paste that in here uh, very easily right into a spreadsheet. So you can work with it to you know format it however you want now that it's in the spreadsheet. But um, but yeah, so that's pretty good. So let me switch back to the tool and I'll show you the little thing I clicked on to do the copy. Okay. So within the tool, when you mouse over, you know, when I mouse over the response, you'll see that little icon, This these things that pop up right here. We'll see, I'll do it again, it pops up. If I click right here on this little uh, icon on, on the furthest one to the right, that will copy everything that's in this response to the clipboard and then you can paste it wherever you want. Another option is right here, when you create charts, it'll uh, you'll see this icon. You can click on that and it gives you the option to download um, that content uh, as a CSV file, which you can then open in uh, Excel or whatever uh, whatever spreadsheet program you're using. So we just got a question. Uh, okay. Um, so we have a question. I would like auto to find this in the specification, the location of text that supports each of the claims in the patents. So um, I we can do that. Um, let me see here. Let me see if I can upload one patent here. Let me start a new project. Now, this is one where the tool can do it. Um, you need to refine your, you'll often need to refine the um, uh, the prompt you use to get it. I don't recommend requesting uh, citation specific locations in the text of a specification based on um, like column and line numbers. Paragraph numbers are a little better. Um, I would ask for um, um, perhaps paragraph text which you can then use to uh, do a search with that text within the, within the patent. But let me see if I can uh, upload a patent here. Let me just pull up uh, something real quick. Okay. Um, let's see. All right, I'm going to upload a document here. This is a published application. Get the claims. Okay, so let's do this. Um, we'll start with please. Um, I need the text of claim one. Hmm. Oh, I'm waiting for it to uh, finish reading the document. Oh, geez, I could have picked the shorter one. It's 50 pages. Okay, there we go. Um, let's click on the patent. Let's just make sure it found the right text. I'm just scrolling down to claim one. Uh, transitory. It ends in the word text. Okay. Please. Bye.
Okay, so this is a prompt I just typed up um, just on the fly here uh, to answer the question. Um, we could work with this to refine it more, but we'll go ahead and submit it to see what the uh, answer is, um, see what it shows us. But what I typed in, if you can't read it, is please find the location in uh, the document that supports at least a portion. I mean, please find the first location in the document that supports at least a portion of claim one and provide me one, the portion of the claim one that is supported and two, recitation of text from the document that provides the support. Um, okay, and it found one. Okay, please find the next portion. Uh, location there. Okay, so this is looking for. Okay. So let's just scroll to that. And make this bigger. Paragraph four. All right, that's really general text. Okay. Um, Let's do the next one. It goes down to okay, so that's pretty generic, but it's still paragraph thirty one. Okay, let's try it once more. Okay, let's, say, let's see if we can get all of them. Sometimes it, um, we'll see what it does here, please. Well, let's see, what was this? Let's The goal is to be able to provide it with one prompt, right? And so this is kind of the process that we go through sometimes to figure out, um, you know, what's the best way to prompt it to get the output that you want. Okay. So we're getting there. Um, uh, <clears throat> We have to, we had 260 above. Okay. So, um, yeah, there we go. There's even more. And so, by asking it for text as opposed to, you know, you can try column and line numbers. Well, here, let's just see what it does with paragraph numbers. Um, Let's see, um, let's say claim 30. Now I'm a little suspect that this is going to uh, provide us what we're looking for uh, because sometimes it'll, they won't get the paragraph numbers right. Um, today, this looks like it's doing a pretty good job, at least with this document.
Yeah. All right. Well, it's done a better job than, than I was expecting today. So I must have been crafty in drafting the uh, prompt. But uh, my guess is that we could probably find a few more paragraphs as well. But uh, um, but yeah, it's a good start in getting that. Um, uh, but oftentimes with the paragraph numbers, um, depending on the document that you're that you're working with, um, it can be a little off. Um, they'll be close, but not necessarily always 100% accurate. So just be sure to go back and take a look at these paragraph numbers that they do, in fact, provide the support that you're looking for. Um, uh, when you're going at column and line numbers, uh, it's it's a little imprecise. And, and I think that's part of the reason why we moved away from column and line numbers in our documents anymore uh, anyway. But, but yeah, so uh, if you'd like to work on that further, I'd be happy to work with you more on that. Uh, um, if you want to refine that further and um, we can get a skill set up to to do this uh, in um, that we public that we push out to all of our users so give me a few weeks on that and we'll see what we can do to uh, push that out too so so yeah well thank, thanks for the question if there's any more questions uh, either on this or uh, um, other topics do please uh, uh, let me know um, but yeah so the other thing that I've been playing with, and I don't have this all, all set up to demo to you yet, though, is uh, file histories. I have in here um, a set of file histories. I We're going to need to uh, uh, work on the prompting, figuring out the prompts on to get the right output and maybe do some fine tuning on this for you. But uh, um, now that we have the ability to have so many different you know, uh, pages or so many uh, documents, uh, 25 documents and up to 10,000 pages, um, we're able to do additional things, um, you know, such as uploading file histories. So I uploaded the file histories for all of these same patents. And I think uh, I, I haven't figured out a way to work with all of these file histories at the same time. I'm probably trying to do too much at once before figuring out how to, you know, officially work with one. But uh, um but yeah, uh, so we'll figure that out. I think we'll uh, hopefully next time in two weeks, I'll be able to talk to you more about uh, manipulating file histories with the tools. So um, what I've been getting is that it's latching on to, it's, it's giving me some interesting info, but at the same time, it's uh, latching onto the idea of, you know, information disclosure statements a little too quickly. So, um, so anyway, so, so I'll figure that out and uh, um, have our team work on it a little bit. Uh, to see what we can do to generate some good uh, prompts for you and give you some good advice on how to work with uh, entire file histories. Um, so yeah, so um, you can also create claim charts of other types. Um, uh, three. Going back to the one I was working on before, please regenerate the claim chart, but rather than See if it'll stick the claim language in there. Now, I know it'll do it. It's just a matter of using the right prompt. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, this should work. It'll be a... Yeah, putting the full text of the, the claim in there is, can be uh, a bit much. Let's see. I should pop into a table here in a minute. Yeah, there it goes. It's getting there. Mm 
All right. At some point, this is a little bit like watching somebody mow their lawn, so I appreciate your patience. All right. Let's see where. What? <laughs> Let me see what happened there. Oh, it timed out. That looked like reasonable output. Let's, well, rather than submitting that again, I'll refine that. Uh, um, and uh, uh, I can send out that chart um, when it's done. I'll use the attendee list so we can send a follow-up email, send you that chart. I'll, I'll go ahead and resubmit it. So, um, so that being said, uh, that's what I wanted to show you today. If there's any more questions, please feel free to submit them. I'll hang out for a little bit. Uh, and if uh, you have any, e or if you want to email me, you can email me at uh, jhallenbeck at blackhills.ai. Or you can always email support at blackhills.ai. So that's what I have today. If I, but again, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, um, send them out. Um, Send them in, I should say. In the meantime, I will go ahead and resubmit this. But uh, yeah, so I'll let this go and see if it's done. But feel free to drop off if you like. And uh, if you want to see the, um, the end result, you know, feel free to hang on as well. But thanks, everybody. Okay, so it finished. Let's see. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go ahead and paste that into a uh, spreadsheet. But yeah, we will uh, go ahead and when this is all done, we'll uh, see if we can send it out to everybody. All right. Well, thanks again, everybody who's still on for uh, attending today and uh, look forward to seeing you again in a couple of weeks. Take care.